The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. And as we start the day off, we always, uh, or at least the show off, we always like to remind you that this happens between 2 and 3. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So what do we have going on? Um, off half a point on the S&P cash although it was uh, down in, uh, about 25 points at one point, or, or pre-market. Uh, NASDAQ's uh, been varying almost uh, negative 100 to uh, flat today. It's off 38 at the moment. Uh, Dow really uh, flat at 9. Uh, probably the more in, uh, interesting stuff is the crude's up a little bit, 73.76. Uh, gold, eh, you could call it flat up. Uh, one, uh, 1751 a little up a little off its low um, really would have liked to seen gold move a lot better uh, with China de uh, declaring Bitcoin or Bitcoin I believe it's Bitcoin uh, is uh, is illegal in China and that is because uh, people have been using it to uh, uh, move cash out of China as a way to move, do things. And, uh, yeah, I kind of been struggling with the idea whether or not, uh, the Chai comps. And if you are unfamiliar with that term, that is the Chinese communist opposed to the Chinese, uh, capitalist who went to Taiwan, uh, the Chinese communists, um, were really upset or just worried about losing control or other issues. Uh, I suspect uh, what they are really worried about uh, after I've thought about it this week is the loss of control. Um, you know, if you're one of these guys, uh, well, hell, if you're in the United States, um, we've seen what happens when uh, absolute power corrupts absolutely, especially over the last couple of years where everybody thinks that they can outdo one another on uh, restricting the rights of uh, a U.S. citizen, um, some people say, well, yeah, but it's necessary. Well, the problem is that uh, many people died for that to give it away so carelessly. Anyway, uh, I, of course, am residing in the, uh, at the, in the uh, freest state in the nation, Florida. Another great day down here. Chamber of Commerce weather. So we're looking here at the time where we've just turned into fall and we're going to get a drop one day, uh, 5, 10 degrees, and it's going to be absolutely perfect. Uh, anyway, uh, my point on that is next week what happens, and I didn't get the slide ready, but I'm going to say next week is a entire uh, week where the market's going to be uh, avoiding – I'll type this in as we talk. Avoiding, uh, da, 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 what would you call it? I'm going to call it Avoiding Landmines is a special edition of next week. Um, literally every day next week, there's something going on. Uh, we've got the debt ceiling, which really nothing's kind of happened on that yet. Uh, we've got, uh, if you're into streaming, uh, Disney, uh, to a lesser extent, Amazon, because they don't make that much money from the movies uh, and streaming. And, of course, uh, uh, we've got uh, Netflix uh, all facing a big strike in California on Wednesday. We've got just, uh, just a litany of things that could, uh, if they go wrong, could really hit the market. Uh, kind of interesting to see the market just off two points on the S and P. Um, I was, yeah, I thought more than likely uh, we would see uh, with the Nasdaq almost down 100, 
we'd probably see a lot more damage in the S&P and didn't get it. Um, maybe that happens next week. Maybe the signal on no volume comes tonight for next week. Uh, but we shall see. In fact, let's check the volume right now. 5.7 billion shares on the S&P cash. So, um, yeah, I haven't done this lately. But I think we can do this for the volume today. <laughs> yes, it wasn't hefty, hefty, hefty. It was wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. Uh, so, uh, already getting questions today. In fact, I think I already have one here. Um about the GDX and is this a three gap play and does uh, China getting rid of Bitcoin uh, really help the gold story? Kind of a, a mishmash of many of those. We'll take a quick look on this GDX. Uh, do we have a three gap play down on, uh, on GDX? And the answer is close. Uh, generally, though, I would give you three days uh, for it to start heading back up. Uh, if then you really want, are talking about negating a three gap play lower. Um, one of the things you want to see on those gaps is they have a lot of volume. And you do have volume on all three. Uh, the gap down on the GDX on the 17th of what is that? June. The next one comes in on August 6th, and the next one comes in on uh, September 16th. But what you don't have in the three gap play is a, a closing of that first gap. Normally, either happens the same day or, or sometimes in extreme cases as many as three days. But you go right back. The GDX on a three gap play should have closed uh, within the next three days back above that 32 level, probably 32 and a quarter. So why it is a good look out here uh, after about three days, you want to give it uh, the Ams Gray Attenlay of getting out of that trade, because if they don't work very quickly, in fact, most of them happen on the first day, and most of them actually see the reversal inner day. And so if you aren't watching there, uh, you don't even see the gap anymore because it just uh, came all over. Especially more in stocks and commodities, the three-gap play tends to happen almost instantly that day after the big gap down, and at worst, about three days later. So let's say that you got... Um, long at 31. Three days later, it hasn't broken that. You go ahead and just take uh, get out of the trade if that's the pattern that you're actually playing for. Um, as I said, man, these things probably shouldn't have gapped down. They should have gapped up. We should see probably $50 in gold. So there's one or two choices. One, I'm missing something entirely. Two, I'm not. Now, maybe there's something else going on. But I'm thinking that uh, if gold can't pop on 1.6 billion people not being able to make it, there's something else I'm not getting. We'll be back in the Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. And we're back. It's another wonderful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be my neighbor? Anyway, a um, couple other questions coming out here today. Uh, Bitcoin, uh, somebody wasn't watching it, apparently wanted to know what was going on. Um, actually, I thought it might be down a whole lot more. It was down like three or $4,000. Uh, it's down 2,400 on the last tick I see here now. 42,134 is the last tick. Um, we talked a little bit yesterday about uh, the idea that good money runs out, or I mean bad money runs out good, and uh, the future of gold. Um, maybe gold was going to be down 50 bucks. Maybe that's where I'm wrong today. And it it's not because China closed the door on uh on uh, cryptocurrencies, but uh, hard to say. Anyway, uh, when we look at this, um, and we go back, you've got three good gaps. I would have liked the last one to be a little bit more, but it rolled over and went down throughout the day. But you know, each one of those had considerably decent, or if not high volume. Now, does it mean it can't go up? No. It just means that as far as me saying this is a three-gap play, which either to the upside or downside is three extremely large gaps on light uh, on the heavy volume, and that third one is an exhaustion move. And by the exhaustion means it almost always goes back and fills that uh, gap almost, uh, well, almost instantly in most cases. Uh, but I don't let it if uh, it doesn't move within three days, because really what you get here is an exhaustion move when I get back to this. And that exhaustion move is the high volume day on uh, September 16th. So you're probably not going much lower for a handful of days. The downside is a lot of times when you get those huge candles, it's just done. So. What you're looking for a lot of times is a bounce so you can get out. You didn't get, get that. You didn't close the gap. You didn't do anything that looked good. Um, today, you got a little bit of nothing. Uh, probably the best thing you can say about today is the incredibly light volume. 
uh, of about 9.3 million shares compared to 28 million shares yesterday. So that there may be another pattern that you might want to argue, not be argumentative, but argue uh, is in play. But the three gap, I pull the trigger on three days after it happening. If that doesn't move by then, it's time to outlay, uh, at lay. Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay. And I've got a few more emails. Give me a call today, 877-927-6648. I uh, got a couple of other questions that I had. And I wanted to see back here. Uh, you talked about boxing in this morning in your newsletter. Uh, what is that? And that is one of the things to, to uh, do that. If you're trading options, and the uh, especially if you're trading options like I do on the last day of expiration, uh, was looking for a good move in the UVXY, uh, didn't get it. I mean, pre-market it was starting to look fairly good. Uh, today it didn't look good though. So uh, bought the 22s yesterday uh, for expiration today on the UVXY. Uh, I think it opened at 22.30 or something, 22.29. 2297, something like that. Uh, but then instantly started going down. So if you've already got the short, uh, if you've already got the long side in something, uh, the easiest thing to do, uh, especially on options expiration, is know that you've got whatever the risk is. In my case, I think it was 33 or 35 cents. Uh, you can always short uh, the other side of that, which is what I did. And if you short the equal amount of shares, then you know your limitations for the entire day. But let's say that you had 1,000 shares uh, uh, via the options for today. You could go short 1,000 shares uh, right after the open, after you saw it started heading lower, uh, and uh, re uh, recover almost all of your uh, cash fairly quickly. And there you have kind of a low risk trade for the day, you know. And if you're long the thing, you're not going to, you're not going to, if you, you know, if it starts going higher and you've got options, you've got the other side of it. So it is a very good way, cheap way of being able to go back and maybe fix some of your errors if you don't think you're getting exactly what you want or the trade moves against you. Doesn't mean you just have to say, sit there and take a beating. I don't. Um, I don't have any problem of uh, just uh, taking the other side of that with the equity, mostly because uh, a lot of times you're not going to get the fill you want uh, in the uh, options side itself. But sometimes you can even uh, make more money on the opposite side being short uh, because guess what? You now have a very defined risk for the rest of the day. And, you know, a lot of times with a buck or a $2 option, it's a lot harder because you can get a lot of decay. You got a 33 to 35 cents in an option. That's the most you got a problem with. And like I said, if you've got, you know, if you're short and you've boxed in the trade with the equity side of it, you can always get in and out of that side, at least in the UVXY, almost instantly. So again, this is uh, probably not something that can be done in an email where it may take you 15 minutes or 30 minutes uh, to get it. But uh, it's something uh, that most traders uh, graduate to fairly quickly uh, when you know you're wrong. You know, the worst thing that can happen is you lose uh, your whatever. In this case, I think I had 35 cents in it. So the worst case is you're losing, what is that? Couple, maybe a couple of percent if you had uh, proper money management on the trade. Uh, compared to everything you have in your account. Um, that would be the worst case. Generally, the idea with options is to reduce risk, not put more on. And uh, just taking the opposite side of the trade a lot of times will work out and certainly means that you really don't lose uh, that money and it gives you an opportunity to go up against it. Uh, the worst case scenario is it closes at uh, whatever the strike price is and uh, you don't make the money on the short side. The best case is it goes against you and you get out of it 
uh, and you make the money on the options side of it. So um, I don't spend a lot of time because these are more uh, esoteric trades. I tend to say, hey, this is it. I think it's right. We got the bounce that I was looking for in the morning. We didn't get the continuation. I suspect uh, that the Fed is going to help. As we said next week, we've got so many things coming through uh, out there that could blow up in our face that it's going to be a very tough week um, to say that you want to be long -closed. Uh, I think you're, you're going to have a lot of inner day turmoil and confusion uh, through next week. We'll be back in a bit. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And another question from Robert, who uh, said that uh, nine months ago or a year ago, don't know where it, you said... Uh, California is broke. Um, yeah. Mm, it's kind of like saying somebody's got uh, a bill due uh, in 60 days. Uh, in this case, two and a half trillion dollars worth of unfunded mandates. Uh, they continue to chase everyone out of the state that is actually pulling the cart. Um, 
leaving only the people that are riding in it. I don't see how it gets any better, and that two and a half trillion is not going away. Uh, the only thing that they could do is maybe get some bill through the uh, through the Congress that relieves a little of that two and a half trillion dollars of unfunded mandate. But the real question from Robert is, would I be shorting the bonds in California? And I would say as it gets closer to the midterms, uh, if uh, we see um, uh, the uh, shift in the House that almost everybody is predicting uh, and there isn't anything that bails them out, um, I would say, yes, you want to be short the bonds long term uh, from uh, California. Um, I don't think you have to to uh, dig through the books like Enron to figure out that if you're giving everything away and paying a retired police chiefs a million dollars and captains, you know, $750,000 a year, it just will not be, you, you can't do that. And everybody knows you can't. Uh, but, uh, you know, you've got one party rule out there and there's not a lot of people to say no to anything. Uh, everybody's kind of in the same kind of boat. Um, and, you know, no one's going to want to upset the apple cart until it crashes. But uh, I don't see any change in the uh, in the amount of companies leaving uh, California. They won't face the problems they have with electricity. Uh, mostly those are not going in there and cleaning uh, and clearing out a lot of the woods uh, that surround the power lines, uh, not updating any of the power lines, uh, mostly because, of course, people say that uh, it's not environmentally sound or some other uh, idea until it burns everything to the ground. They, they still haven't updated any of the power lines with the problem they had a, a year ago. So, no, I don't think anything's changed out there. Everybody just uh, keeps on... Uh, pointing uh, fingers at other folks, uh, but uh, it, eventually someone's going to have to uh, come in and say, I'm an adult and I'm going to clean this mess up, but uh, most everybody just keeps uh, whistling past the graveyard out there. Yeah, do they have a little cash now that has a lot to do with uh, the bills for COVID? When, those, when that cash is gone, um, papering over that two and a half trillion dollars of unfunded uh, mandates. Just think of it. We've got a country with 50 states and $20 trillion worth of debt. They've got their one state out of 50, and they have two and a half trillion dollars. I can't overemphasize how bad it is, but like uh, Bernie Madoff or Enron, um, William Buffett, William Buffett, yeah, uh, who loves to say you only see who's swimming with a bathing suit when the uh, tide goes out. Um, that's going to be it. When it goes out, um, or the other one I love is how did you go bankrupt slowly and then all at once? Um, the history would say that that is it. But uh, if there's no bailout of California, uh via the house in the next year and they get uh lose control of the house uh with nancy pelosi running it she's probably the the best chance um california has for a major bailout of that uh, state before uh bigger problems ensue so would i go short today i guess is the question uh the answer is i'd wait until we see a little bit more but uh, if it becomes very clear politically uh, that there's a switch in the House and I, what is the average, 50 seats or 40 seats in the midterms, um, they're up by 16. So, yeah, I have a feeling that it, it probably a fairly good bet. The question is, when does that tide turn? Right now, they've got the, some cash from the COVID stuff uh, to keep it going. But uh, it's always how quickly that stuff uh, starts to fail. Uh, other things going on here today. We have questions. Uh, da, da, da. Ari Gold. The similar conditions over the last of the years. I scored some nice gains with Rangold Resources. 
I have to believe gold in general is going to get a bump up with the crypto news from uh, Chicoms. Please look at gold. Am I looking for a swing up to 1950? Uh, the thing is, you're going into a weekend, and you really, you know, you should be seeing something today. I mean, the volume's light. You got to say that. Uh, the question is, is there something else out there lurking that's going to make this happen? Um, it's just hard for me to see uh, the sell come in. Um, again, on this one, you wanted to see it close back above February 26th of 2011 or excuse me, 2021, 20, uh, that's $18.57. You would want this thing to close back into the trading range to signal a low is in. Um, you do have a gap here. Let's go back and look a little farther out here. Maybe this is just some huge extension. Uh, you actually have a double gap. Let's go back here and look at it. Um, of the same range, and this double gap goes back to March 24th. So where I would expect this to be, since you're so, so close to this, is at 17, I'm going to say about 1720 would be it. Uh, and that if it's this is just testing those double gaps. And if you get one gap, there's a pretty good chance you uh, go back and test it. You get double gaps. Uh, I'm going to say a single gap probably 70% chance of a re, uh, retest. I'm going to say more like 85% when you get double gaps. So what that's what you're looking for right there. And that is the day, the uh, 24th of March. And if you get a test on that with continued light volume, uh, that would be nice. Uh, you really, if you were looking for that uh, high volume on the 16th of September with 40 million shares, that's the one that kind of set up um, the blow through of $18.57 at February 26th low. So I don't. Uh, so, OK, the question is, how far would the jump be if you find a low at that 1750, uh, 1725 area? Um, Energy is about the same way up. Is on the way back down, light volume back here. Um, you know, we'll talk about this when we come back, but ideally, 1750, 1725 on very light volume and then a pop higher. Uh, probably going back up to 20. Yeah, that'd be a good uh, first step. We'll be back in a minute. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. And a uh, question in the den about a particular laptop um, someone gave me. One of the things I probably wouldn't be buying is laptops that didn't have some kind of significant graphics card in them. Uh, and by significant, I mean like an NVIDIA uh, 3050, at least uh, 2700 series NVIDIA uh, in a laptop. Uh, this uh, one he gave me, he's got uh, the... Uh, uh, Iris video from um, uh, from uh, Intel. I think right now, just so much stuff is being worked on for uh, artificial intelligence. Um, I like to call it machine learning. Uh, there'll be new apps and everything else, especially as a trader. I'd probably want the door open to being able to run those and actually have a fairly decent graphics card. The rest of the machine's great. Uh, the crap part is that the uh, that the integrated uh, graphics is, uh, uh, I don't know, probably the equivalent of six years ago, uh, the weak part of it. I'd much rather get something uh, that had that and, like I said, uh, uh, an, in, uh, a, an NVIDIA, let's call it a, uh, uh, it probably the, the mobile equivalent of a 2700 or, um, I, in fact, a 3500 right now. Uh, there's some new, uh, uh, new laptops. And the next break, I will check it for you, but I saw one either yesterday or the night before um, that was being compared for about 1100 bucks compared to one that was about $2,000, and it was a uh, killer laptop. I just can't remember the name of it right now, but I can find it during the break. Uh, if you've got a question on anything in technology, give me a call, 877-927-6648, or email me, or put a message in the den. But if you use uh, email, path at tfnn.com. Okay, other things going on. Uh, thoughts on Tesla? Uh, T-S-L-A. Um, question about whether or not we broke the high here. No, uh, I still love this uh, on a, a possibility of a short. I'm just waiting for some kind of signal that says pull the trigger. But you've got 25% uh, 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 lighter volume for the May 19th low. You're coming back up to this high that had 49 million shares. You got 15 million shares so far. So let's say you end up with 20 million shares. Um, let's just make sure, because I didn't look at it today. Uh, I was probably going to look at it. I didn't want any risk over the weekend because a lot can happen. Uh, what you want to see is continued low uh, shorting in this. And yeah, you got about 15% short yesterday. Um, that may be in just enough to move this thing up 
uh, to where it got here today. But now, um, you know, maybe you get 780 on this. Um, certainly don't like the volume today. Could be much better. But uh, maybe you get a test of 780 on lighter volume uh, and push it. But uh, I'll be watching it. I have a, a, a uh, idea that I'll probably be short this thing in the next week uh, if this thing flinches at all. Um, as I said before, uh, this is not a good setup, especially with the way uh, China's going. My guess is the ideal short uh, would be you short in the next day. China says they're nationalizing all the Tesla um, production facilities because Tesla uh, delivered a bunch of cars that were had problems, and they do. Um, all you have to do is catch the uh, internet. Uh, YouTube channels where uh, people are complaining about all the problems with their Tesla cars over there in China. Uh, it is a regular occurrence. Um, the Chinese do not have any kind of self-loathing that makes them uh, cheer a product that is defective. Um, and would I say it's a horrible car? No. Would I say that uh, the people in China are probably not willing uh, to take as many flaws as the cars are now. But, uh, you know, the sales in the United States are not that strong. They lose China. Uh, I think they could lose half the uh, price, uh, their stock price uh, in a matter of weeks. And like we saw yesterday, it wouldn't take much. Uh, so uh, we can see. And, of course, they're actually funded by China uh, and the money. So, you know, they can do anything like uh, say, you know what we're going to do? We're going to uh, yeah, we're going to call your loan. You do a lot of different things. Um, and again, uh, a lot of people think that uh, they're all singing Kumbaya over there. Uh, they're thinking about every day how they can get everybody else's money. They are the consummate uh, capitalists for being a communist country. They are going to way, look for a way to clean uh, Tesla's clock eventually. Uh, yeah, I would say so. Yep, pretty close. Maybe it's Monday, maybe it's Tuesday, maybe you get a test of that high. Again, no sign here today, uh, but I would be looking at it very closely. Okay, that answers that question. I just want to make sure that the uh, shorting and it remains low on a daily basis. Okay, what else do we have? Question on AMD. You know, the problem I have is this thing should be back to 110, 115. Uh, it's hovering about 105. All you've done really is go out here and have a, a bad hair day on the 20th, uh, and it's back right back to going sideways. I don't like stocks that go sideways at or close to highs. Because uh, generally, that's a good sign of distribution. Fundamentally, it's hard to figure out how AMD does poorly, other than maybe even worse shortages in the chip sector. The, I guess maybe also problematic um, is, you know, the old story of what you don't know, you don't know. Uh, but I would like to see this better. Everything uh, eventually says better. But maybe there's one big uh, hiccup before the next earnings uh, comes out that really puts the pressure on them. I mean, AMD and NVIDIA are basically hooked together uh, at the, uh, at the uh, hip. Um, the problem I would have for NVIDIA is any close uh, over the uh, next couple of days Below, uh, below this uh, three by three displace moving average. It really, other than a couple of days, has just done nothing but going sideways back for about 20 days. You had three days where it came out, you came up, but you didn't get the kind of volume you'd want. I think we probably yesterday should have seen something in the neighborhood of maybe 70, 80 million shares. Uh, what do we get? 26 million shares yesterday, 25 million shares. Doesn't look good. Looks weak. Wimpy. We'll be back in a minute.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And we have uh, people asking questions here uh, about laptops, which ones should I get? Um, I'll post it in the den if you're listening. Um, the best site that I've ever seen for uh, good reviews of what's going on and what you're looking for uh, in uh, computer hardware is Tom's Hardware. I'll, uh, I'll shoot you a link at path at tfnn.com, and I'll just send it. But it's uh, Tom's Hardware. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, we've got another question here before the end of the day. DMYI. Um, yeah, you got all the volume in the world. Um, <laughs> Greg from Lutz, Minnesota, apparently. Um, no, you got the big move. You got a 10% move in here. You got everything you want. Uh, that is exactly what happens. Uh, Tim Ord is a big fan of these trades. I called them Lazarus trades. The things are just dead and dead and dead and dead. And then something out of the out of the blue comes out but no uh you may get a retrace in fact i'll put an alarm on this uh below ten dollars and fifty cents uh but yeah you could get back up to 15 bucks on this one uh this is exactly the kind of pattern uh that he loves uh but most people can't sit for three months waiting uh for something to happen but yeah this is 
pretty much everything you have been looking for. Uh, to, to, to see what the headline is on this. Um, uh, merger. Okay. So maybe that doesn't end up being something that long. It's got bigger problems. But that's it. Uh, if you have any questions on laptops, I'll be glad to send you that link. Uh, we've got uh, Larry Pezzavento once again batting cleanup on Friday. Thanks, Larry. So when you can, not when you have to. We'll see you Monday. Same bat channel, same bat channel.